This is a review of the Everstart Max 12 volt DC digital inflator. Features a digital pressure display, which is on the back of the unit, right around this area. Has a sure fit nozzle, which will screw onto the part of the tire, the little valve there. It also has a programmable auto stop air pressure. Use it with the uh, 12 volt outlet. You can use it to inflate your vehicle, bike tires, sports, and outdoor equipment. It comes with a little needle attachment that you attach to here. It also has inflator accessory storage. It'll be area for you to put your hose away. And it offers a 12 foot reach. There is the readout. Little attachment goes up here. There's the uh, picture of the light and there's the attachment that goes on the top there i'm gonna go ahead and open this see what's in here Instructions. And I have some attachments there. I'm not sure what those are for. I'm not sure what those are for. And the unit itself. dry mustard color air pro 120 digital readout gonna have a minus for the air pressure power button plus here is the brass colored area that screws onto your nozzle your uh, tire there this is where the storage is for the cable and the outlet connector it's got a little trigger here a little light needle attachment there on the top and that's about it I'm gonna go set this up and we'll see how this performs okay I've got this hooked up to my vehicle my tire should be at 35 is the suggested PSI. I'm going to turn this on. To turn it on, be able to see here on the screen. Right now it is set to zero. I'm going to see where it's at. I have to bite my mistake. All right, you can set it to whatever pressure you want. I just set to 35. As soon as you hit the power button, it will start inflating. But the LED comes on automatically. I have my flashlight on for the purposes of being able to see the buttons and I'm going to turn it off and we'll see how good this light on the inflator works not too bad it does light up some of the area there you are able to see where your valve is at we'll screw this on Right now, I am at 31, four pounds where it should be at. 
There it is. Set to 35. Let's see how long it takes it to bring up it bring it up for uh, four pounds there. Got it up to 35. I believe it took it around, oh, I would say a good two and a half minutes, 245, somewhere around there. And once it gets it to where you set it in the beginning, it automatically shuts off, starts pulling it there. I'm not sure what this trigger does. Let's see what it does. Oh, that will allow you to manually inflate it if you like I was actually at 29 so that's not too bad Let's see what else it has on here Turn my flashlight back on on the bottom there is a spot that is open Got a little indentation there. That is for you to run the wire through so you can set it on the ground. If you want to set it down while you're waiting for it to inflate, it does give you that option. Right up, it'd be going 35, 36. Well, that wasn't too bad. It loosens up a little. If you move it, make sure it's nice and tight. If you are moving it around, it might loosen up on you. All right, I was able to tuck all the wire back in, as well as the part that plugs into the cigarette lighter. And it brought it from 29 to the 35 that it needed to be at. In about three minutes and five seconds, somewhere around there. So, according to the manual, the little pieces from the beginning it's right here in a little bag are air hose storage clips and they attach to the sides there I'm gonna attach it now see how these go on there Does not want to attach in there. Oh. Let's try the other one. Hope if I do it correct then. On the picture they have it fold this to the back tuck it in and fold this to the front tuck it in just like that which kind of helps a little I guess probably tuck it up in there somehow and Get a little bit more compact. Took this up like that. Something.
Air Pro 120. Like I said earlier, it took it about three minutes and five seconds to bring it up from 29 to 35. Six pounds in three minutes. Let's say you need 20 pounds. Now you do the math. But it's always good to have one of these in your vehicle. It will get you out of a jam, especially if you're in the middle of nowhere. And if you need to air up some balls, you have the attachment there. See if that fits in there well. You can get this out. Nope, you're gonna have to pry that out. some pliers or multi-tool and see if we can get that out of there there you go see how well this screws in there Seems to be a pretty tight fit in there. Pretty tight. Too bad I don't have something to inflate with. Inflate this. Use this out on. But. It's there. Let's see how easy this goes back in. Does fit nice and tight in there. Well, I picked this up at Walmart about a month ago. Went by there the other day and it was still there. I had plenty of them. Bring these out whenever the uh, holidays come around. Bring out little cheap tool sets and things like this here. It was about $20. So it's not too bad. Like I said, it's always good to have one of these there in your vehicle. And it's going to have the added of the uh, little light bulb there if you have no other way of lighting up your area. It's going to have a flashlight. Usually your cell phone has one. Let's say that dies. Well, you have that option there. And that's it for now.